Next. Next. Ladies and gentlemen, comrades and friends, welcome to the week with me, Comrade Fatso. And today in studio, we have a very special guest. She is spokesperson for the MDCT and aspiring MP for Harare Central, Comrade Linda Masarira. Welcome to the week. Thank you very much, Comrade Fatso. I'm super excited to be here. The week is always so super exciting. <laughs> <laughs> so, Linda, we're going to get straight into it. You know, back in the day when I had you on the show, you know, you were an activist. And uh, since then, you've been, you know, running your campaign as an independent. And now you've joined the MDCT. What brought about this shift? You went from being an independent to now being part of a mainstream political party. Okay, I'll just start from where you asked, from being an activist to being an independent candidate. That was informed by the realization that I could only do so much as an activist. We've been speaking about a lot of issues over the years, and all those issues have just been falling on deaf ears. So there comes a time when you say, am I just going to keep on backing? with no results. That's why I decided then to stand as an independent candidate because our political parties are closed because of the, the characteristics of politics of patronage and politics of personalities and all that. So I had just decided to run the race so that I could actually effect that change that I've been so much pushing for over the years. So eventually because of a lot of dynamics that were happening in the political space uh, during my door-to-door -door campaigns when I was still an independent candidate, I had the realization that people did not understand Understand what an independent candidate is and they still have that political party mentality in their heads. So um, when Dr. Tokozani Kupe was abused, manipulated and everything else, I, I, I felt that urge to stand for another woman and to be a sister's keeper because these this, this levels of misogyny in political parties in our community and our society manifest on a single basis. So I, I decided to be a sister's keeper. I, I, I wasn't a fan of Tokozani Kupe. A lot of people know that. But there comes a time when we have to put our differences aside and make sure that we stand for the women's struggle. The women's struggle had achieved so much, but it is actually retrogressing because of these manifestations of misogyny and patriarchal dominance and structural deformities, which we've been fighting for a very long time to ensure that we have an equal society with equal opportunities for all, which is non-discriminatory. So I took up this call and said, you're my sister. I'm going to fight for you. You, are, you have my back. So we're trying to do this to show show Zimbabweans that as women we are united. No matter what you call us, we will stand for each other and we will drive the interests of this country with men who understand the importance of equality and making sure that we overcome barriers that limit women from participating in governance processes. Comrade, I see you are representing some new fashion there. Hey? You're wearing this hashtag Me Too hoodie with Hure on the back. Now tell us the significance of this hoodie. The significance of this hoodie is to try and demystify sexist statements, misogynistic tendencies in our political arena. We have been called all sorts of names on social media, in the streets and everything else just because we are taking a stand for what we believe in. No one can stop us from participating in politics in Zimbabwe just because they think they can call us names. Whatever you want to call us, we have just decided, oh, go me too. We are women. We have the right to participate in governance issues. Women's issues are constitutional issues, are human rights issues. So we cannot continue with the same negative, repetitive behavior of labeling any woman who's trying to make a difference in Zimbabwe, hure. So at the end of the day, we are demystifying the word hure, that no matter what you want to call us, we are not mahure. But if you want us to be hures, then that's fine. We will be mahure, but we will not stop advocating for a better Zimbabwe, which is just, non-discriminatory, non-violent, and which has equal opportunities for every Zimbabwe.
So, comrade, I'm sure you know, you know, us Africans, Zimbabweans, we've been suffering so long. This World Cup has ended. Uh, African teams will have failed. We can now pin them quarterfinals. Comrade, what can we do? Toy say, how can we actually do better in the World Cup? Honestly speaking, the, the issue to do with our poor performance at the World Cup as, as, as a continent goes back to the way we run business, the way we run sport, and the way we do things. Africans have got a problem of doing things unethically, corruption, and a whole lot of things. We need to change the way we run our football administrations in Africa. We need to, 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 to nurture a culture of professionalism, of nurturing young talent. This habit of having an 18-year-old studying, say, I'm, I'm studying to play football at 18 doesn't work. We need academies. We need professional uh, coaches who will be able to, to nurture talent from a very young age. And the only way we are going to start uh, being um, um, powerful uh, footballers in Africa is when we are serious about sport. When we start ensuring that sport is also a profession. But so long we keep on taking sport as an, an extra curricular activity and everything else, we will never get to that level that first world countries and other third world countries over there uh, are performing. So it all goes back to the way we run our football administrations. It has to change. We have to nurture talent from a very tender age and ensure that we are professional in whatever we do. Comrade, your Twitter handle is at Lilomatic. What does what does Lilomatic mean? Hey? All right, thank you for the question. I never thought that at any one time in my life anyone was going to ask me what Lilomatic means. Basically when I grew up and up to now my mother calls me Lilo. And then um I'm, I'm a fast person. I, I, I maneuver. I do a whole lot of things. I'm like, no, no, I'm Lilo. like a hey, no, you know? Lilo, Lilo, yes, Lilo. yes. I'm like a hey. So I once had a friend who used to say, you are an automatic. Mm -hmm. So when I was thinking of having a Twitter handle, I said, I want something that defines me. Who am I? My mother calls me Lilo, and I've been told that I'm an automatic. So I decided to take the matic and mix it with the Lilo, and I came out with Lilomatic, and I'm Lilomatic. But so 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 that means also when the DJ gets on, you walk into the club. The DJ goes, Lilo, Matic. <laughs>
o- o- only beaten by H Metro and Zim I online. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you might say that because it is really a joker, a joker of a newspaper. Maybe they should just change and be a tabloid. Maybe mm. that's what they want to be. Mm. So they can just change and just be a tabloid and stop being their state newspaper. So comrade, you are running here in Harare Central. And you know, I've got some very easy things that you can do. If you want to win votes here in Harare Central, just open up more powers. But uh, what more do you want to do for the constituents? I want to ensure that labor laws are actually in place that actually empower the worker because there is a lot of labor injustice that has been happening in different workplaces, including government, NRZ, where I was employed, GMB, people are underpaid. Even when they go to the labor courts, their issues are just not processed and everything else. And secondly, I want to ensure that we have proper drug rehabilitation centers. We are losing a generation to, to drug and substance abuse. I'm really worried about the next generation. It's going to be leaderless and futureless if nothing is done in regards to the Bronco and, and Umbanja stuff and everything else. Thank you for joining us on the week, Comrade Linda. It was a pleasure being here. I love the week. We'd like to thank you for joining us on the week. I have been Comrade Fatso. You have been the people. This has been the week. Thank you and... Food take care.